Oh, wait. Hold on. I got to send this text out real quick. Wait, wait. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Hello? Hey, no, I'm in, I'm in a movie theater right now. No, I can't talk. Hold on. Are we, we're recording oh, can, this, Can right? we take a uh, selfie well, real quick? I want to take a selfie. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want yeah. people to see me at the movie. I got to post that no, on Instagram. No, let's get the screen in the background. Okay. Yeah. What yeah. are we talking about today, Renee? Um, movie theater etiquette. Honestly, during this whole Barbenheimer moment, I have not come across any of the issues that we're going to be talking about today. Surprisingly so. True. Yeah. Yeah. Great audiences so far. Yeah. Except me. But other than that, everyone's great. Well, that's good to know. I mean, it, it's, it, it, I think any moment you go to a theater these days, you are going to come across something, you know, and, and to be fair, and this is just me playing devil's advocate right now, just briefly for this brief moment. There are a lot of people for the last three years who haven't gone to theaters because of everything that's been happening, you know, pandemic wise and all that. A lot of people are returning to theaters for the very first time within the last month or two, especially with the whole Barbenheimer thing. I think there's a lot of Indiana people. Jones, yeah. Mission Impossible, and now Barbenheimer. Absolutely. And then when you do go to the theater, there are certain things you should probably be mindful of. And let's, let's talk about some of these things, some of the situations we've been in that bring up some of these pet peeves, these no-nos, these do's and don'ts. So I think what I'll start off first, and this is something that actually happened to me last night. And and again, I think it's also, it's, it's a circumstance because people are going to theaters for the very first time in a couple of years. This is still a quote unquote new concept for, for a lot of people. And that is not not taking the seat that you purchased, you know. Oh, yeah. So yeah. there's I mean, I would say probably in the last, what, five years, the concept of reserving your seat at a movie theater has been very has started to become prominent. And a lot of theaters are adapting to it and all that. It all started with the major theater chains, right? Their AMCs, your Regals, your UAs, United Artists. Is that even still a thing? I don't Probably not. But, um, you know, those major chains, they allowed you to start reserving seats to for showings, you know. And I remember back in the day when you weren't able to do that, you had to show up to a movie at least an hour ahead to ensure, especially if it was like an opening weekend, or like a blockbuster movie, make sure you're there an hour in advance to at least get a seat that you'll be happy with, right? Because if not, you're pretty much going to get asked out and you're going to get seats that you probably don't want. Unless you're Blake, who doesn't mind sitting so close to the screen, then those seats will always be available, you know, no matter what, you know? So someone like Blake, perfectly fine. Not a worry, really. But if you're, you know, if you're particular about that kind of stuff, you have to make sure you secure your seat. But now you can reserve your seat at, either through the app or even when you go to the theater, you could, you know, when you purchase your ticket, the, 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 the person will ask you where you want to sit or through the little screen you get to, to do all that stuff. Now, for American audiences, this is a pretty new concept. For people who are not from America, there are theaters I've been to outside of the country that have been doing this for a very long time. You know, and so this is not a new concept to them. It's just new for us, pretty much. So for a lot of people, maybe they are not aware that maybe it's a good idea to kind of stick to your assigned seat because if it's someone like me, I purchase a seat specifically for my own reasons. You know, maybe I like to be next to the aisle. You know, if you're if you're someone like Blake who knows that there may be a time that they're going to run to the bathroom. He doesn't want to be a nuisance to anyone. So he'll specifically get an aisle seat so he can have like yeah, easy in and go. He'll yeah, go in and right. out. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just stating what you've told me. So I'm not you know, trying to call you out or anything. Um, you know, so yeah, there, there are things like that. Last night I'm going into Indiana Jones and I, the minute I walk in, boom, guy in my seat not only just in my seat but they you know he's with his girl next to him obviously they didn't read where the seats were and all that so they just plopped their asses down the seat now if i cared and i knew that this was going to be like a, a crowded theater i would have said something but i knew it wasn't 
and there are more seats in the front. And I, I realized that it's one of those theaters that it's actually better to be closer because the screen is kind of small. So I, I found a seat closer to the screen and I was perfectly fine. And I, I didn't give two shits about it. But it's not the first time that's happened. You know, and I actually see it happen to other people when they're coming in and then I hear the conversation. I think you're in my seat and blah, blah, this and that. And then I, I always love the, the common response is, really? You sure? And you're like, oh, oh my God. you know, or. There's no way I'm wrong. Yeah. I had a guy, <laughs> wait, was this your experience or mine? Is this a false memory? The <laughs> Sorry, am I interrupting? Oh, no, 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 no. What were you going to say? I just got worked up. It was the person. No, Okay. I've had this experience, but someone had it to such an extreme degree. Um, it was a big sellout movie, an early screening, and the guy says, "Like, no, this is my seat. This is my seat." Yeah. He shows the person the movie ticket. It's the wrong day. And he goes, "Oh, nice. I'm so nice. sorry. No, nice. your 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 movie's actually tomorrow." He looks at it, he goes, "No, I'm. This is my seat." And the <laughs> like, Oh, let me show you what day it is. I don't know what to do at this point. They show them the day, and the guy's like, "This is my seat." And they're getting belligerent. Finally, security had to come at that right. point. It was like, "This guy doesn't give a damn. He's right. he doesn't want to have to come back tomorrow. He's hoping he can get away with it." Right, right, right. Sorry that that, but they're the, my favorite. Yeah, the person's like, "No, trust me. This is my seat." And yeah. Every now and then, I have been wrong. I actually sure. happened last night at a jazz show. I misread which seat was which, and I was mm. like, "And the person was like, "No, oh, this is your seat." Okay, thank goodness it wasn't an issue. Yeah. But every now and then, especially at the movie theater, sometimes the lettering, I'm a little confused on which one's D or which one's yes. E or whatever. Yeah. It can be just double check yourself. Yeah. And then either politely ask the person and if there's an issue. Security, yeah. I'm I, I mean, I, I can sort that out. Right? Yeah. I will say like the theaters could do a better job at like really making it more legible and, and more aware as, as yeah. to what row this in, is. It's dark. Yeah. I was at a theater recently where it's the movie, like the trailers have started. So it's dark inside. Mm -hmm. I could not see. So I had to pull out my phone light and I didn't want to do that. I'm yeah. glad the movie hadn't already started, but I literally couldn't see the seat number without doing that. I will yeah. say I'm going to put a little bit of that on theaters. For yeah. Sure. Now, they, theaters definitely need to be better at that. And again, it, it kind of shows you how new this still is because, yeah. you know, theaters didn't have to worry about that stuff before. Now they do. So I think making the letters of the rows more legible. It will be helpful. The numbers on the seats more legible. Maybe have it like lit up like a little, you know, the little uh, whatever yeah. template or whatever thing is, like have that lit up and all that. But yeah, I love, yeah. I've heard people, you know, trying to reason like, oh no, this is this is row G, isn't it? And it, it's really D. And they're like, oh. And then they're like, oh, my bad. And then you know, they, they realize that they just don't know the alphabet. Um, and it, it, it's, it's so funny how it's always, no, you're wrong. I'm right. And then like, just, just take a look, you know, just, just cause you never know. It, mistakes happen all the time. Now, Fine. my biggest pet peeve was when this was still kind of new. And uh, first of all, I loved it immediately when I knew I could reserve my seat. I was like, perfect. I can get my seat properly and all that kind of stuff like that. You have those people who probably bought their ticket last minute, Right. So what they they thought that they could do is that they'll buy separate seats and they'll try to convince the one person at one of the other seats, <laughs> hey, this is my wife. Do you mind moving and taking my seat so I could just sit next to her? I'm like, homie, like, again, there's a reason why I got this seat. You should have known this in advance, you know, and all that. So why We're did you now buy this? subject yeah. to a stranger's right. decision? Yeah. <laughs> and you do not get to be mad if they push right. back. Exactly. Airplanes, it's a similar deal. It's like, yeah, maybe someone will be nice. Odds are someone might even feel bad for you. It'll yeah. be a little cheery. They'll be like, ah, I hate you right now, but okay, right. fine. But yeah. It's not your right to take someone else's seat. That's not how the thing works. Yeah. I've had that thought before. It was like, okay, this thing sold out, but friend could and maybe but you, you can't bank on it. It's similar to uh, what I think is interesting is there's the wheelchair companion seat. Mm, yeah. And it'll say sometimes when you book it, in some places it doesn't say. But you can book those. But if someone shows up and needs that seat and they have, I don't know if theaters even ask for documentation or whatever, but if they need that seat, you're you're gone. You're and out. if it's a sold yeah. out theater, you don't get to see that movie. And if, right. if you're trying to decide, should I see the 8 p.m. or the 11 p.m. and the 11 p.m. sold out by that point, you just don't get to go to that you're movie done. anymore. Yeah, you're I done. I like that system. But it's another one of those things. It's a gamble. If you do it, you can absolutely do it. And from what I've seen, often those are not taken. Yeah. In fact, what I'll do sometimes 
is I'll get a worse seat and I'll keep an eye, especially because I like sitting near the front. Mm -hmm. But every now and then those have more leg room, right? And so I'll keep an eye on it. I'm very tall. I guess there's some people maybe who've never seen. Uh, I'm I'm eight foot eleven, and the problem yeah. is if uh, extremely yeah, you tall. Know, you're sitting eight, the tight movie theater, yeah. like you're doing this for an entire movie. Yeah. Um, Knees yeah, every now and then I'll just chin. move over to oh, one of those yeah. seats because I don't like taking those gambles. But if you're a risk taker, if you want to roll the dice, you can book one of those seats or see if Renee will move for you. And you <laughs> I remember I got so mad because I was like, fine, I'll move. And I was with a date at the time and I was I had a hot dog and I was so mad that I was getting up because, I, you know, when you sit down, you have your shit all out. Right. So you have your hot, um, hot dog in hand. Yeah. You know, this was winter. So I had my jacket here and all that kind of stuff. And so I was gathering all my stuff. And of course, this has to happen minutes before the movie is about to start rolling. And what yeah. happened? My hot dog fell on the floor and I was like, mother fucker. So the whole movie, I was thinking about my hot dog and how I wasn't able to hit my hot dog because asshole wanted to sit next to his wife that they didn't book their tickets well in advance for Gravity that opening weekend. So for a while, I couldn't watch Gravity because all I could think of was my fucking hot dog on the floor. Now, Renee, this is going to be a silly question. He threw your hot dog on the floor. How no. is it his fault that you dropped your hot dog? Because in in, in in my my chaotic movement and like gathering uh -huh. of my shit, I was so clumsy in gathering so you didn't up. Force your body to move chaotically, or you moved your body chaotically? Um, I, uh, did he I'm, shove you, or like why is your hot dog on the ground? It's because yeah, you, no, you he stood didn't. up too quickly, or yeah, what's it, going on? It's because you I was flustered? in a. I was flustered. Yes, I was flustered. Oh, hey, poor Renee. I, it's yes, fault, it, it is my fault. No, I know. It. I. And I was right to be mad. Yeah, I would be. I would be, and I blame people too. I'm like, they made me throw my yeah. hot dog on the ground. It's like if this guy <laughs> was smart enough to book another seat, or just booked earlier, then I wouldn't have to go through. I'd have this. a. Fucking hot dog. I have, have a hot dog. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. And you only stole my hot dog, sir. Yeah. Security, this man's a hot dog thief. It's 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 <laughs> it's insane. And and you know, like you go to theaters, you know how much hot dogs are. They're expensive. So it's like, man, fuck. Yeah. Expensive yeah. hot dog on the floor, uneaten, unable to serve its purpose. <laughs> did and you that leave is it there to get him. Like, so he had to deal with the hot dog, or did you pick it up? No, I left it there. You should have left it, it there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Good. No, yeah, I left just, it. His feet are like slipping. Yeah. I hope, I hope he smelt time. it the whole time. I hope he smelt the hot dog. Yeah. And I, and I hope he's That's vegan, you, too. That's awful. But you know that when you're in that worked up state of mind and you're just like thinking of ways to get back to the person or like yeah. horrible and you're like, I hope his socks are full of catch up or whatever yeah that's when you know it's probably time to either say something or do something about the thing yeah sometimes you can't but i've noticed when i'm not enjoying a movie because i'm like if that person makes that sound and they made it again but then i'm not yeah. doing anything about it like i'm just not going to enjoy the movie there's right. times where like if i really won't do something i should walk away sure because it can especially if it's a movie that you're star wars opening night and you're a star wars fan yeah you don't want to have that ruined because of that and yes it is the other person's fault and yes they deserve a sock full of ketchup and mustard or whatever <laughs> when they piss on his hot dogs but at the same time at some point there's the part where like i'm not enjoying the movie and there's only like you don't you don't have good options but you got to take right. one of them and right. you can just fume like yeah. Renee and the other guys smelling hot dog the whole movie. That's, That's it. Great. That's it. Yeah. But Gravity is a great movie. I was able to watch it again afterwards. And hey, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> I have a few that are um, theater rules because like mm -hmm. I really enjoy going to Broadway. But these apply to movie theaters just as well. But movie theater culture doesn't fully adopt them. So a few of these sure. are things that I don't think are widespread in movie theater etiquette, but are theater etiquette and should be. This is one where if you can help it, you don't sit directly in front of someone. Mm. Basically, what I'm saying is if it's a sold out movie, there's only so much you can do. And sometimes a movie will sell out, especially where you get to reserve in advance. And then people cancel the last minute. Or they don't even show because it's free with their you know, a list or whatever they have. Sometimes seats will open up and I'll even move so that I'm not in front of someone. Yeah. But it, the general rule is you wouldn't sit in someone's line of sight. And it can have this weird effect and you can kind of find, but you essentially want to see people like checkered or checkered, like around the theater and have, I try to do two seats between me and another person on either side and two seats in front of someone at, if I can't help it. 
Now, I don't want to necessarily sit in the back corner just because that's how full the theater is. And if, especially if I'm assuming it'll sell out and I'm buying my ticket early, mm-hmm. I'll kind of, you know, there's only so much you can do. But my favorite thing somebody found, it was uh, somebody tweeted they bought, they were the only person in the movie theater. Then they check again before, like to see how full it is. And someone else had bought a seat directly next to them. And there were only two seats sold in the entire theater. <laughs> and some, they're like, what psycho? Is choosing, and can you imagine the look on the person's face when you sit next to them, dude? That's happened to me. That's That's happened to me. Yeah. What? what? Because this isn't okay. Like this is a crime in my world. Like if I'm the president, this is one of the first. Like no one ever gets to do that because that is violent. Even if you don't look at, smell, talk to the what. I'm assuming they do it so they can smell your cologne. What happened? It was one of those rows that wasn't fully booked. And it wasn't like a sold out showing either. Okay, and that's where it's really weird, where there's no one around and it's a creepy movie theater and someone sits next to you. That's what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah. Which it's like, it's like, really happen, but still. Yeah. I had, I had a seat, aisle seat, because I, I do like to be by the aisle because I, I just, again, I just want to be able to freely go in and out if I have to. A little more legroom. You can kind of more like, yeah. You, you have that little yeah. option to put your leg out and all that, right? Yeah. For some reason, homeboy bought a book, the ticket right next to me, seat right next to me. But there was multiple options throughout the theater where that person could have sat. And I'm like, why? What? Like, I don't understand. You know, I love that. Yeah, I think that's actually that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm just going to find just find the, the whatever one. The most the one. <laughs> yeah. There are some theaters, right, where they have the stairs and then two seats to the right of the stairs. Yeah, yeah. And that's a yeah. weird one. If I'm going to be in the corner and then someone books a seat right now. I think it was, I had to do it. It was, this was years ago. It was Twilight, the final movie. I had just binged the franchise so I could be caught up and go to the, I love a good movie premiere night, yeah. uh, opening night. But the seats were such that I had to be in the weird corner next to some, but it was a full theater. So that's just going to happen. That said, if it's, if there's other seats, you don't want to box somebody in no. as a stranger. And then, yeah, it's the same thing with, with airplanes, right? Like some of these things we're talking about could be applied to Southwest. Like if it's not a full flight, <laughs> and like, don't ruin someone's entire flight and have them asking, what kind yeah. of sicko are you the entire duration of the movie? Yeah. Um, that's, that's troubling. Yeah. That's not, avoid it if you can, but essentially, and I, I see people don't do this in movie theaters, especially because everyone wants the middle of the middle, usually the middle sure. left to right and on the X, Y axis, just the very middle. So what happens is two people book here, two people book right in front of them, two people book right in front of them, then people book next to them. I always try to bake in unless I know it's going to be sold out. That's anything goes. But otherwise, yeah. I try to bake in at least one seat between me and the other person if, if it's not going to be sold out. And if I'm booking it kind of near last minute, just be mindful of that. Some people want personal space. Some people might want you to sit next to them. I don't know. Maybe ask first instead of just surprising them with a, another person in their right. third wheeling. Their feet, and they're making out next to you. The whole, like, if you want that, sure. But they might not. Right. That's all I'm right. To say. Right. Yeah. No, that, that, that's a good good thing to keep in mind, too. Um, but it's so funny that you said that because I, it, so, so prior to us recording, I, I, we were talking about, oh, Blake was saying, you know, there's some things that bother me, but I wish I could remember all the instances where this occurred. And I said, yeah, unfortunately I remember all those instances. So you can mention worry. something and I'll, I'll bring up something. And then when you said that immediately, it, it reminded me, it's like, why did this homeboy sit next to me when there's so many other seats everywhere it's like he purposely booked his ticket unless it was assigned to him but then i if you if i saw like on the grid that there was another person sitting next to me i'd be like i could take another seat somewhere else you know like it's like you mean like the movie the ticket seller yeah you know like sometimes they'll just like automatically like give you something no they'll be like is this seat okay and then that's also maybe not his fault, but the movie seller, sure. the ticket seller's fault. But yeah. still, somebody at some point shows that seat. Yeah. It's just crazy. They just click the wrong one. He goes, oh, I don't want to sit next to that guy. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm almost out of time. Go, go, go. go. Yeah, oh, oh, well. <laughs> Good luck. I got I to get this ticket. Yeah. <laughs> well, speak- also bothered. Or, or he thought <laughs> you could have bought the tickets at the same time and he thought you were the weirdo. Right, the right. Movie. Yeah. By the way, like, bam. Movie, like, this guy's a weirdo. I know that much. You guys were having the exact same thoughts yeah, with each other. Yeah, it's so funny.
Hey everyone, just a quick message here that this episode is brought to you by a new shop that I just launched. That's right, popcotour.shop is a new merch shop where you can not only find Loki Geek and eventually Movie Time merchandise, but you will find merchandise dedicated to some of the biggest things in pop culture at the moment. Whether it's movies, TV, video games, memes, or anything of the like, you'll find some of the homages to some of the biggest things that are happening currently at the time. You'll also eventually we'll find some cool retro throwbacks in he here and there the shop just launched so bear with me i'm filling in the inventory but you'll find new stuff dropping every week but to help celebrate the launch of this brand new merch shop i'm giving all of you the listeners subscribers here at the low-key geek channel a nice little discount to check it out so if you use the code low-key geek at checkout you'll get yourself a nice little 15 percent discount so definitely check it out this is another great way to to help support the channel and show your love and support for everything that we do here but it's also a brand new venture of my own you know just going out into the retail market so any support that you could throw our way would be greatly appreciated so once again that is pop couture p-o-p-c-o-u-t-u-r-e dot shop pop couture dot shop a shop for geeks who are chic for full audio episodes of the Movie Time podcast, make sure to follow and subscribe to the Loki Geek channel on your favorite podcast platform. New episodes are uploaded every week.